A man from Mabaruma facing a murder charge has changed his plea to not guilty, sparking new discussions and concerns within the community. Christopher Van Newton, originally admitting to the fatal stabbing of Sherwin Smith, is now set to face a full trial this September. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. What led to this unexpected shift, and what does it mean for justice in this tragic case? Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this developing story. Christopher Van Newton's decision to change his plea from guilty to not guilty has taken many by surprise. Initially, by admitting guilt, Van Newton seemed to accept responsibility for the brutal attack on Sherwin Smith. However, with this change of plea, the legal landscape has shifted dramatically. The upcoming trial, now set for September 10, 2024, will be crucial in determining Van Newton's fate. Presiding over this case is Justice Sheardell Isaacs Marcus, who will guide the jury through what promises to be a contentious trial. This development raises important questions about the defense strategy and what new evidence or arguments might emerge in court. It's a stark reminder of how fluid legal proceedings can be, especially in cases as serious as murder. On the day of the incident, April 18, 2022, Sherwin Smith was attending an event at the Mabaruma Settlement Ground, a place that would soon become the scene of his tragic demise. According to police reports, Christopher Van Newton was seen approaching Smith with a knife in hand. A nearby police officer witnessed the chilling moment when Van Newton delivered several stab wounds to Smith. Despite the officer's quick intervention to disarm Van Newton, the damage was already done. Smith, gravely injured, attempted to escape but collapsed soon after. He was rushed to the Mabaruma Regional Hospital, where doctors fought to save him. Sadly, Smith succumbed to his injuries later that evening, leaving behind a grieving family and community. The motive behind this tragic incident is believed to stem from an old grievance between Van Newton and Smith. While the details of their dispute remain somewhat unclear, it is evident that whatever issue existed between them culminated in this violent confrontation. The case has stirred emotions in Mabaruma, with many questioning how such a conflict could escalate to such a deadly extent. This case is not just a legal matter, it reflects the underlying tensions that can exist within small communities. As the trial date approaches, all eyes will be on the courtroom, awaiting the outcome that will decide Van Newton's future and provide some form of closure to Smith's loved ones. Breaking news from the heart of Georgetown, chaos erupted at Camp Street Prison today as a convicted murderer, Bevan Griffith, made a daring attempt to escape by scaling the prison fence. But swift action by vigilant officers prevented what could have been a catastrophic breach of security. In this video, we'll break down exactly what happened, the heroic response by the prison officers, and the stern warning now issued to all inmates. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. Bevan Griffith, a convicted murderer, shocked everyone today when he ran out of his cell during the lockdown process and made a bold attempt to scale the fence at Camp Street Prison. The situation quickly escalated as officers noticed Griffith's actions and responded with decisive force, 
shooting him before he could make it over the fence. Griffith was immediately restrained and then transferred to the Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation, GPHC, where he is currently receiving medical treatment. This incident not only highlights the risks within our prison system, but also the critical role of officer vigilance in preventing potentially dangerous situations. In the wake of the incident, Director of Prisons, Nick Lon Elliott, commended the officers involved for their quick and effective response. Their actions ensured that order was rapidly restored, preventing what could have been a much more serious event. The situation at Camp Street Prison has since returned to normalcy, but the message sent by this incident is loud and clear, any attempt to breach prison security will be met with immediate and severe consequences. Following the event, the prison head issued a stern warning to all inmates. Acts of defiance and attempts to escape will not be tolerated and will be met with the strictest of consequences. This incident serves as a crucial reminder of the importance of discipline within the prison system and the lengths to which authorities will go to maintain security. The officers' actions today underscore the seriousness of these warnings and the unwavering commitment to upholding law and order. Today's incident at Camp Street Prison is a stark reminder of the constant vigilance required to maintain security within our prison system. The swift and decisive action of the officers involved not only prevented a potential escape, but also reinforced the message that prison security is a top priority. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay informed and stay safe.